What should I be doing? So here's the thing that I think you should be doing every single day. Number one, start your day with a cup or two or three of coffee. Coffee, 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 coffee. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. In this video, we'll hear from Dr. William Lee, a best-selling author of several influential books on health and nutrition, who has extensively studied the potential health benefits of coffee and its impact on stem cells. His findings suggest that moderate coffee consumption can have a positive impact on stem cells and overall health. One of the most intriguing aspects of Dr. Lee's research is the discovery that coffee may stimulate the activity of stem cells, but not if mixed with certain ingredients. Stem cells are undifferentiated cells that have the potential to develop into various cell types, playing a crucial role in tissue repair and regeneration. By activating stem cells, coffee could potentially contribute to healing processes throughout the body. As a special bonus, we have included five delicious recipes for your stem cells, which feature coffee as an important ingredient. Let's listen to Dr. Lee describe more about how coffee works to aid stem cells. I need protection and... Uh, uh, coffee actually protects stem cells in your body. Now, our stem cells live in our bone marrow and they come out into our bloodstream to repair us from the inside out happens all the time, but as we get older, our stem cells are a little bit less vigorous than when we we're younger. And, uh, uh, and a lot of things can affect this, including uh, oxidative stress from the environment and just simply aging. And so one of the things that coffee does is it protects, acts as a shield to our stem cells so they can actually keep on working as robustly and vibrantly as possible, regenerating us from the inside out. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. In addition to stimulating stem cells, Dr. Lee's research has indicated that coffee may help slow down the aging process at a cellular level. This could potentially contribute to a longer lifespan and a reduced risk of age-related diseases. Here's Dr. Lee to tell us more. Whoa, 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 slow down. Coffee slows down cellular aging. If you want to actually be in the moment and not speed up your aging, it turns out that coffee can actually do that. There is a bioactive in coffee beans called chlorogenic acid. And uh, this has been studied in human subjects drinking coffee. One to three cups a day has been of drinking coffee has been shown to slow down the burn rate of your uh, telomeres. These are the caps at the end of your DNA that burn down like a fuse that reflect how fast you're actually aging. It's kind of the clock that gets, the timer that gets started uh, from the time you're born. And the older you are, uh, the, the fuse starts to shrink. Drinking coffee slows that process down. And all you gotta do to get that effect is to drink anywhere from one to three cups of coffee a day. I easily meet that. Uh, level myself. Coffee has been shown to increase metabolism, which can help burn calories and support weight management. This effect is believed to be due to the caffeine content in coffee, which can stimulate the nervous system and increase energy expenditure. Coffee improves our metabolism. Coffee contains something called chlorogenic acid, and chlorogenic acid uh, activates our metabolism. And the way it does it is by stimulating the production of brown fat. And we've got different kinds of fat in our body. There's white fat that's wiggly and jiggly and brown fat that's wafer thin. And one of the things that brown fat can do is uh, get turned on uh, like a space heater. Uh, and when it turns on like a space heater, it's a process called thermogenesis. And coffee turns on thermogenesis. And you know why thermogenesis in brown fat is useful because the brown fat will uh, uh, be triggered and it'll burn down the harmful white fat, the visceral fat. So good fat fights bad fat and coffee actually makes that happen. So you actually get more energy uh, and it increases your metabolism. The other thing it does is actually um, helps you lose body fat and you can actually lose weight 
uh, that way. And studies have been done to show that drinking up to four cups of coffee a day can actually help you lose body fat. In fact, uh, up to about eight pounds of body fat uh, over about six months or so. Not a huge amount by itself, but every little bit counts, especially when it's actually uh, burning away your harmful white fat. Certain compounds found in coffee, such as chlorogenic acid, have anti-inflammatory properties. Inflammation is linked to a variety of health problems, including heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. By reducing inflammation, coffee may contribute to overall health and well-being. Now, for Dr. Lee. Tell us more. Now, another thing that uh, coffee does is it's anti-inflammatory. So chlorogenic acid in coffee is very anti-inflammatory. We know that inflammation is the root cause for a lot of the diseases of aging. And so coffee, enjoy your cup of joe, actually helps you enjoy the rest of your days longer and better because it actually chills out uh, inflammation as well. As it turns out, coffee even has beneficial effects on our microbiome as well as the doctor will describe here. Coffee will make you feel better. And then finally, Coffee improves gut health. It turns out that uh, when you drink coffee, the coffee uh, chemicals actually get down into your gut and it protects our gut microbiome. It shifts the gut microbiome into a healthier state so you've got better neighborhoods of gut bacteria. And as you know, better gut health is better overall health because our gut bacteria lower inflammation. And the way it does that is by re releasing a metabolite called short chain fatty acids or SCFAs, S-C-F-A's, that actually lower inflammation. And guess what? Drinking coffee helps your gut bacteria make more short chain fatty acids, more SCFA. While the research on coffee and stem cells is promising, it's important to note that excessive coffee consumption can have negative consequences. Dr. Lee generally recommends enjoying coffee in moderation, typically three to four cups per day. Individual tolerance and overall health should also be taken into account when incorporating coffee into your diet. So these are all really great reasons why you would actually want to drink uh, uh, coffee every single day. Coffee. Black. Dr. William Lee's research provides compelling evidence for the potential health benefits of moderate coffee consumption. By stimulating stem cells, slowing cellular aging, boosting metabolism, and reducing inflammation, coffee may contribute to a healthier and longer life. However, it's essential to consume coffee in moderation and consider individual factors when making dietary choices. Now, let's explore some coffee recipes designed to boost stem cell health. These recipes will be dairy-free, following Dr. Lee's advice to avoid mixing coffee with dairy. Dairy can interfere with the absorption of beneficial compounds in coffee, such as antioxidants like chlorogenic acids, and reduce their effectiveness. These recipes offer delicious and nutritious ways to enjoy coffee while potentially benefiting your stem cells. Coffee-infused smoothie bowl. Combine frozen berries, banana, brewed coffee, chia seeds, and almond milk in a blender. Blend until smooth and creamy. Top with granola, nuts, and a drizzle of honey. That is delicious. Coffee and avocado mousse. Mash a ripe avocado with brewed coffee, maple syrup, and a pinch of salt. Fold in whipped coconut cream for a lighter texture. Serve chilled. Oh, that's delicious. Mm. Coffee infused overnight oats. Combine rolled oats, brewed coffee, Greek yogurt, chia seeds, and a touch of cinnamon in a jar. Stir well and refrigerate overnight. Top with fresh fruit and nuts before serving. That's delicious. Coffee-infused chocolate bark. Melt dark chocolate with a small amount of brewed coffee. Pour onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper, sprinkle with sea salt and chopped nuts, and let it set. Break into pieces and enjoy. That's delicious. <laughs> Coffee-infused energy balls. Combine dates, almond flour, brewed coffee, cacao powder, and a pinch of sea salt in a food processor. Roll into balls and refrigerate until firm. Whoa, that is delicious. Next, watch the Dr. William Lee Club playlist for more information on the Nutritarian diet. 
Thanks for watching Longevity Deprocessed. Hit like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on evidence-based longevity tips. Share your thoughts in the comments, your journey matters. Remember, small daily habits create big changes. Until next time, keep deprocessing for a healthier, longer future. Let's make this journey together.